Hi, good evening and everyone and welcome to today's September show Game of Twelves. I'm the MC, co-host of the show together with the producer. Let's meet the producer. Thank you, MC, and thank you to the fabulous audience who have taken the time to join us today on the Game of Twelve show. The theme of the month is the classic board games. So wherever you are, make yourself comfortable and get ready for a time of fun. Uh, without further ado, let me set up the rules of Game of Twelves. The show will ask 12 questions. I will read the question first. The question will then appear on your screen for your reference. Soon after, there is a countdown of 12 seconds for you to answer the question. Every member of the audience can participate. All you have to do is within the countdown of 12 seconds, you must unmute yourself and speak if you have an answer. The producer will then let you know if your answer is correct. You can try as many times as you want. If your answer is correct, you must wave to indicate that the correct answer came from you. But only the person with the correct answer needs to wave. The producer will then record your name. If the answer is incorrect and the countdown time of 12 seconds is over, the producer will give you the correct answer and I will proceed to the next question. Is everything clear? Good. If you click on the top right corner of your screen, you can choose either speaker view or gallery view. Members of the audience who want to participate, you must now switch on your camera and mute yourself. Your answer will only count if your camera is switched on. I repeat, your answer will only count if your camera is switched on. We write down in the chat the rules of the game of 12s for you to refer to. MC will read the question. MC will have the question on the screen for your reference. Within the countdown of 12 seconds, you must unmute yourself and speak if you have an answer. The producer will then let you know if your answer is correct or incorrect. If your answer is correct, you must wave to indicate that the answer came from you. The producer will record the name of the person with the correct answer. If the answer is incorrect and countdown is over, the producer will give the correct answer. Let the game begin. Here is question number one. Name this classic board game. The answer is Bagamon. Bagamon is a classic board game believed to have originated from Iran 5,000 years ago, according to archaeological discoveries. The game consisted of a board, two sets of 15 pieces or checkers, two dice, a doubling cube, and dice cups. The goal of the Bagamon game is to be the first to move all 15 checkers off the board. And then he's over. Here is question number two. What is the name of the long triangles on the backgammon board? The answer is points. A backgammon set has 24 long triangles called points. The points are numbered 1 to 24. Players move their pieces or checkers in opposing directions from the 24 point to the 1 point. And then is over. Here is question number three. Name this classic board game. The answer is Monopoly. The history of the Monopoly game can be traced back to 1903 to an American anti-monopolist, Lizzie Maggie, who created a game then called the Landlord's Game. 
the game was intended to educate and to draw attention to the negative aspects of private land ownership by private monopolies. Countdown is over. Here is question number four. The original version of Monopoly was based on which American city? The answer is Atlantic City, New Jersey. Lizzie Maggie, who cre the creator of the game, patented the landlord's game in 1906 and again in 1923. The rights to Maggie's patent was bought by Parker's brothers. They also bought the copyright of the newly named Monopoly game from the distributor Charles Darrow. Parker's brothers went on to market the game in 1935 the original version of the game in that new format was based on the streets of Atlantic City, New Jersey, USA. Countdown is over. Here is question number five. Name the classic board game. The answer is Scrabble. Scrabble is a word game, tiles representing letters of the alphabets of place on a game board to form words. Most of the tiles are marked with a letter and a point value that ranges from one to 10. Countdown is over. Here is question number six. How many blank tiles are supplied with the Scrabble board game? answer is two blank tiles. In an English language Scrabble board game set, there are 100 tiles of which two tiles are blank and carry no point value. The blank tiles are available for use as substitutes for any letter. Countdown is over. Here is question number seven. Name this classic board game. The answer is chess. Chess is a strategy board game consisting of a square chessboard with 64 squares and two sets of game pieces. Each set has 16 pieces, inclusive of a king, a queen, two rooks, two knights, two bishops, and eight pawns. Countdown is over. Here is question number eight. What is the name of the chess game's piece that cannot check a king. The answer is another king. The goal of the chessboard game is to checkmate the opponent's king a player will not make a move that leaves their king in check. The king, therefore, cannot directly check the opposite king, as this places the first king in check. Countdown is over. Here is question number nine. What am I? Guess the riddle and find the name of the classic board game. I am a sweet and colourful kingdom. I take my players on a journey to visit train stations. Am I A, Sweet Alabama, B, Candy Crush, or C, Candy Land? The answer is C for Candyland. 
Candyland is a classic board game comprising of a game board, a Candyland train, a die and 20 tokens. The game involves players range, playing and collecting candy tokens from each train stations. The board game was developed in 1948 by Eleanor Abbott from San Diego, California. Countdown is over. Here is question number 10. What am I? Guess the riddle and find the name of the classic game. I am all squares and circular pieces. I move my players and a diagonal takeover. Am I A, checkers, B, chess, or C, solitaire? answer is a checkers. Checkers board game is also known as Crotz. It is a strategy board game for two players that involves a player moving a game piece diagonally into an unoccupied square to capture the opponent's piece. And that is over. Here is question number 11. What am I? Guess the riddle and find the name of the classic board game. I am filled with reptiles. I guide my players on a journey from the bottom to the top. Am I A, reptiles, B, snakes and ladders, or C, top to bottom? answer is B, snakes and ladders. Snakes and ladders was originally known as Moksha Patam and originated from ancient India. The game consisted of a board with numbered squares, ladders and snakes, and each player moves the game's piece from the start at the bottom of the board to the end at the top square. Countdown is over. Here is question number 12. What am I? Guess the riddle and find the name of the classic board game. I am a mysterious mansion full of rooms. I suspect my players know the who, the where and the how. Am I A, whodunit, B, hitchhiker or C, Cluedo? The answer is C, Cluedo. Cluedo is a murder mystery game board representing the rooms of a mansion. Players have to find who murder the game's victim, the location of the crime, as well as the murder weapon. The game was first developed in 1943 by Anthony E. Pratt from Birmingham, United Kingdom. We've now reached the end of the 12 questions, and I hope you've enjoyed the theme of classic board games. Before the name of the winner is revealed, let me remind you of a giveaway competition that Game of Twelves has organised. To win the giveaway, you have to find the odd one out from words from the January to June 2021 quiz shows, and you will have the chance to win a free tall mug. All of the odd one out words from January to June 2021 are also missing words from a quotation by Van Gogh. Please do watch this short video.
So more details of the giveaway competition is on our social media, on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So you type in at Game of Twelves on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So now back to our quiz. So if you have managed to find any answers, please do send us your answers on our social media. So direct messages on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Thank you for participating. So over to you, MC. Okay, thank you. Uh, um, of course, um, there wouldn't be a winner if there was no prize. And if there is a winner, the prize would be a personalized digital print for you. And you'd have all the riddles from this month's show in a digital format with your name. And you could print it, frame it, and hang it on your wall. But there is also an invitation to the final of Game of Twelves taking place at Christmas 2021. Thank you. So again, if you have managed to get any answers to the 12 questions, please do send us a direct message on our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can also send us an email to gameof12sinfo at gmail.com. Over to you, MC. This is the end of the Game of 12 September show. And if you've enjoyed the show and want to see it happen again, we would appreciate your support. You can donate to GoFundMe by clicking on the donation link in the social media pages, and any amount will be appreciated. Thank you all for being here uh, on the show with us, and we'll see you next month. Good night. Thank you. I will share the social media links at the end here, and I hope that you have a good night, and until next time.